the Evans and Born 22 Parkview Drive. Um, my comment as well is on agenda item 11 and 12. It's about the key bank account. Um, so it's on there to discuss, um, to simplify the administration of that account. Um, from what I understand, there's only one thing that comes out of it and one thing that goes into it, or a few. So I don't understand what's so complicated about reviewing a monthly statement. So that just does not make any sense to me. Um, we need to simplify that for, I guess, for time constraints. Um, but yet on the 27th of 2022, uh, July, we were informed by Supervisor Dupree that there had been a binder constructed of right to knows, of some selected um, right to knows, with tabs, with certain people's names on them, of right to know requests. Yet these bi binders slash files have been laminated, oddly enough. Uh, in my opinion, it seems pretty complicated and time consuming a task for who knows what purpose. Time for laminating, not all, but certain right, no, right to know requests by certain taxpayers. <coughs> time to refu review, yes, one bank account that only has a few transactions monthly. And from the ongoing discussions that I have taken place here from previous meetings, there is only a few activities out of this bank account from what I've heard in discussions. Um, in my opinion, I would like to know why this account is constantly being discussed at these meetings. Something, in my opinion, is odd here. Um, and then um, my last uh, public comment on an agenda item to keep in the time constraints is attorney's fees and engineering on the bill pay which is listed on the agenda here. Almost $90,000 in attorney's fees and engineer's fees, once again. No discussion about that. No discussion about how to rein those costs in. And then one last thing. So I made a comment about how much money we spent from 2017 through the third quarter of 2021. I actually have the budgets here that were done through a right to know request. They're Union Township. <coughs> Do those say Union Township on them to you? No. Um, so to make sure, because I was accused of putting out false information, I went through the math again and the actuals for legal from 2017 through the third quarter of 2021. I was accused of putting out false numbers when I said it was $838,000. And I stand corrected. I was wrong. It's $838,428. I will admit when I was wrong. It was higher. These are ridiculous. As taxpayers, we have a right to question these costs that are outrageous. And I did a right to know request the next day after the binder was disclosed here because my name is on a tab in that binder. Mm -hmm. And I did right to know request about a public hearing that was held here last year, which this township notified me of because I'm within the area of it. That's what I did a right to know request about. And I also did it about an attorney client trust account of which there was money put into and paid out for CSI investigators to investigate someone or somebody that we paid for. And for Bray Bender Cox, it's a Republican marketing company was paid out of that account. And I don't care if it was a Democrat marketing company. I, in my opinion, don't think my tax dollars should be spent on those two items. And I do have a right to voice my concerns and my displeasure about that at this podium. And, and to furthermore, I got an email about my right to know request from Ms. Scott here. I got a registered letter and a regular letter. Thank you. <clears throat> I didn't get a regular letter. I only got a registered letter. Wow. Great.